dear students in this lecture we are going to see about golgi apparatus that is what is golgi apparatus what is its function there in the cell how it is arranged there in the cell then structure of the golgi apparatus so all these details we are going to see in this video lecture it is the first organelle observed in the year 1987 by italian physician named camillo golgi it's also called as a dictyosomes when it is present there in the plant system it's an intracellular organelle consisting typically of a number of stacks or flattened membranous vesicles or cisterni so this vesicles a form of a cisterni are very important there with reference to the golgi apparatus in this diagram you can able to see the cisterni so this is the appearance of the tubular cisterni and these are all the vesicles so these two things constitutes an important component there in the golgi apparatus golgi apparatus are commonly present there in the eukaryotic cell now we look at into the occurrence what are the organisms in which it can be commonly found large sized golgi apparatus are commonly noticed in two of the algae namely pinularia and microsterias and they also found to have a complicated golgi apparatuses in higher plants golgi apparatus are commonly present in the secretory cells and in young and rapidly growing cells in the plant the equivalent term of golgi body is dictyosomes in animal cells usually they occur as a single golgi apparatus whereas they can be of a multiple golgi apparatus in the nerve cells liver cells and cordate oocytes when compared to the eukaryotic organisms prokaryotes totally lack the golgi apparatus in certain eukaryotes also they were not present that includes the certain fungi sperm cells of bryophytes and pteridophytes they are the one in which they are it is not commonly present apart from that in plant sieve tubes elements and a mature sperm cells and in the red blood cells of animals also the golgi apparatus is totally lacking next we look at into the morphological forms of the golgi apparatus as we already know it is mainly composed of cisterni as well as the vesicles this structures are highly pleomorphic that is they commonly change their shape depending upon the cell types in certain cell types they are appear as a very compact structures whereas in some they would be completely spreading out and look like a net like appearance typically golgi apparatus appears as a complex array of interconnecting tubules vesicles and cisterni these three things will be composed into the golgi apparatuses now we look at into the detailed structure of these three basic components of the golgi apparatuses flattened sac or cisterni cisterni are about 1 micrometer in diameter they are central flattened plate like or saucer like elements which are held together in parallel bundles or stack one above the other so that is a way in which the cisterni will be arranged the same thing is been shown here it has been parallelly stacked the cisterni are parallelly stacked one above the other and it is arranged in each stack cisterni are separated by a space of 20 to 30 nanometer which may contain rod like elements or fibers each stack cisterni forms a dictyosome that is with reference to a plant system which may contain 5 to 6 golgi cisterni in animal cell whereas it may be more than 20 cisterni in the plant cells next point is related to polarity of this golgi apparatus before going into the other structures morphological structures that is tubules and vesicles present in the golgi apparatus we will now look at into the polarity of the golgi apparatus entire golgi apparatus takes a bow like appearance so you can able to see a bow like appearance here so this is a bow like appearance in an electron micrograph the cisterni at the convex end of a dictyosome comprise of proximal forming or cis phase so first we need to understand what is a convex phase and what is a concave phase there 
the system may at the concave end of the Golgi apparatus comprise of distal maturing or transphase. These are the two phases that present there in the system. Now you look at into this particular diagram. Here this is an endoplasmic reticulum and this is a Golgi apparatus. You can able to see the concave as well as the convex ends there. So this one is a concave that is the distal end whereas the convex is the one which compose of the cis phase of the Golgi apparatus. The cis phase of the Golgi apparatus is located next to either nucleus or a specialized portion of rough endoplasmic reticulum that lacks bound ribosomes and it is called as a transitional endoplasmic reticulum. You look at the cis phase. So this is a cis phase. Okay. So you can able to see the cis phase and this is a trans phase. So in the cis phase, it is commonly present near to a endoplasmic reticulum or to the nucleus. Whereas the trans phase will be present nearer to the plasma membrane. So this is a way in which a Golgi apparatus will be arranged there. Trans phase of Golgi apparatus is located near the plasma membrane. So these two are the polarity of the Golgi apparatuses. Next, we will look at the other two morphological structures that are commonly noticed in a Golgi apparatus that is tubules. Tubules are thin that is 30 to 50 nanometer in diameter. Fiber like structures surrounded the dictyosome as well as Golgi bodies and they will be radiating from it. Vesicles. Vesicles are 60 nanometer in diameter and the vesicles are having different types that is some three different types of vesicles are commonly present there in the Golgi bodies. They include transitional vesicles, secretory vesicles, clathrin coated vesicles. We can look at these vesicles somewhat here in the diagram. So these are all the transition vesicle that is at the phase of transition. Whereas if you look at the secretory vesicle, they are all the vesicles that are detained to reach there into the plasma membrane surface so as to exude the synthesized protein outside through the process of exocytosis. Transitional vesicles are small membrane limited vesicles which are thought to form as a blobs, some kind of bubble like appearance from the transitional endoplasmic reticulum. So from the transitional endoplasmic reticulum, transitional vesicles are formed. This is the endoplasmic reticulum from which it is formed and it migrate and converge with the cis phase of the Golgi. See, it goes and migrates and converge there to the cis phase of the Golgi where they coalesce to form new system. The second one is secretory vesicle. They are varied in size, membrane limited vesicles which play role in discharging the contents there to the margins of the system of the Golgi. They often occur between the manufacturing phase of the Golgi and the plasma membrane. So that is the location in which this is the manufacturing phase and this is the plasma membrane. In between the region you can able to see a secretory vesicles presence. And the third one is a clathrin coated vesicle. They are all spherical protuberances of 50 micrometer in diameter with a rough surface. They are found at the periphery of the organal, usually at the end of the single tubules and are morphologically quite different from the secretory vesicle. The clathrin coated vesicles are known to play a role in intracellular traffic of the membrane and of secretory products. That is between endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi body, they play a role. As well as they can play a role between the GRL, that is Golgi body, smooth endoplasmic reticulum and lysosome and the endosomal structures or to the endosomal region. Next, we look at the cytochemical properties of the Golgi apparatus. That is, when you are examining certain tissues or cell, how you can able to identify that particular cell found to have a Golgi apparatus, that is histochemical identification. So for this, it will be commonly staining and looking at the sample there in the electron micrograph, micrographs. So for this, some two different kinds of staining materials are commonly used. One is osmium tetroxide, which selectively impregnates that to the outer face or to the cis phase of the Golgi apparatus. However, the other one is a passport tungstic acid that have been staining there specifically on the trans phase, that is in the opposite phase. This cis phase staining osmium tetroxide are especially binding there to the phospholipids and unsaturated fats that have been located there in the membrane of the Golgi apparatus. However, the 
phosphatungstic acids will be having a high affinity there for the polysaccharide as well as proteins that have been located there in the membrane of the transphase of Golgi apparatus. Apart from staining and weaving the cells through electron microscopy, there are certain unique enzyme identifications that say some idea over the structure what we have identified is the Golgi apparatus. First one is glycosyl transferase and thiamine pyrophosphatase. They are localized cytochemically there in the trans system of the Golgi apparatus. So, if you are able to find the activity of this particular enzyme from a portion of the cell content, then it means that it is a Golgi apparatus. Next one is the acid phosphatase enzyme. This is again a marker enzyme which you can able to come across there in a endomembrane system that is in other words called as a GRL. What is GRL? Golgi endoplasmic reticulum and lysosomal combined together and forms into a endomembrane system. Next, we look at into the functions of the Golgi apparatus. After the vesicles are leaving the endoplasmic reticulum, they may be transported there to the Golgi apparatus. That is, the vesicle that leaves the endoplasmic reticulum are moving there to the cis phase of the Golgi apparatus and that is the location in which it has been subjected for other further processing. So, what are the other further processing? Here the products that includes proteins, carbohydrate and phospholipids that are synthesized there in the endoplasmic reticulum are modified. The main modification is some kind of a glycosylation. Addition of carbohydrate moiety is there. Then they are stored and exported outside the cell or they can be transported to the other locations of the cell or to the other cell organelles such as a mitochondria or into a chloroplast structures. If we closely look at the Golgi complex is working in tandem with the endoplasmic reticulum or it is working together with the endoplasmic reticulum for two important process. One thing is protein glycosylation. So glycosylation as I already told it is the addition of carbohydrate side chain to specifically to the amino acid residues. Then it is named as a glycoprotein. This process will be taking place there mainly in the Golgi apparatus. Apart from, so this is the process of the glycosylation that have been shown there in an image. Okay. So some process of the glycosylation are taking place while the vesicle is migrating there into the Golgi complex. One more area in which both endoplasmic reticulum as well as the Golgi apparatus are working together is the protein trafficking. The protein trafficking is very simply shown there in this diagram. So, you can able to see the protein that have been manufactured there from the endoplasmic reticulum is going into Golgi apparatus. Sometimes they may reach to the outside of the membrane as a secretory vesicles through the process of exocytosis or sometimes they may be shuttled back again to the endoplasmic reticulum and it will be subjected for various other further processes. Finally, we look at some functions that are specific for plant system as well as animal system that have been performed there by the Golgi bodies. In plants, Golgi apparatus are commonly referred as a dictyosomes. They play role mainly in the secretion of materials related to primary and secondary cell walls. That is with reference to formation and export of glycoprotein, lipids, pectins and monomers of hemicellulose, cellulose and lignin are all will be carried out there by the Golgi apparatus. Even there is certain studies which shows that certain polymeric substances such as this hemicellulose and cellulose are solely synthesized there by the Golgi apparatus only. Then during the process of cytokinesis that takes place during a mitosis or meiosis process, vesicles that are originating from the Golgi apparatus coalesce there with the pragmoplast area which is present there as a semi-solid layer called as a cell plate. That is the Golgi apparatus membrane are further forming into the cell plate content of the plant system. The unit membrane of Golgi vesicle fuses during cell plate formation and become a part of the plasma membrane of the daughter cells. Next we look at certain points or certain role they perform there in the animals. In the animals Golgi apparatus are commonly involved in packaging and exocytosis of the following materials that is zymogen 
of the exocrine pancreatic cell. The mucus, a kind of a glycoprotein that is secreted there by the goblet cells of the intestine is possible only through the presence of Golgi apparatus. Then a lactoprotein which is technically called as a casein secreted there from the mammary glands and secretion of tropocollagen and collagen they are all commonly associated there with the connective tissues and formation of the pigments such as the melanin and even other pigments are all effected through Golgi apparatuses. They are also involved in the formation of certain cellular organelles such as a plasma membrane, lysosome, acrosomes of the spermatozoa. That is Golgi apparatus playing a role there in the formation of plasma membrane or lysosomes or the acrosome that is a head region there of the spermatozoa. So these are all the various other roles that have been performed by Golgi apparatus specific for the plant system or for the animal system.